What's going on guys? Yes, it is Jeep time again. So I have a peculiar issue with this thing that I've been trying to troubleshoot off and on for a couple of weeks, but today I'm really gonna get into this thing, see if I can figure it out. So a couple issues going on here. Um, started out where I didn't have very good heat on the driver's side of the vehicle, but I had good heat on the passenger side. Um, so I had a feeling I had a partial heater core blockage. I went ahead and I flushed the system you know, connected a garden hose to these two lines and flushed them and may have improved slightly. Um, but I do have flow. The heater core is not blocked. Jeep's up to temperature now. This hose is very hot to the touch. This one, a little bit less so, but it is hot. So that's one issue. The other issue I'm having, and I noticed it while I was troubleshooting this, this heater core problem, was my coolant level about every week or so is dropping about maybe, I don't know, a pint or so, maybe a little bit more than that. So I'm thinking, oh no, we have a head gasket issue here. Um, along, alongside that issue, my radiator cap is always cold, even when the vehicle's up to temperature and I drive it 30 miles. Always cold, I can always remove it. Um, when I look down inside at the fluid while the, while the uh, uh, Jeep is running. I'm not seeing any bubbles. I don't think I have a combustion leak into the cooling system But I can always Notice a faint smell of coolant when this thing's running, but I don't see any signs of leaks So it's really got me puzzled here. So I'm gonna go to my auto parts store. I'm gonna try to rent um, a Pressure tester and I'm gonna pressurize this cooling system. I'm gonna see if I can observe the leak that way Because obviously I'm not building pressure if this caps always cold this isn't an urgent matter to get this thing fixed because I went ahead and replaced it already. Um, so my idea is to use this as a as a third vehicle, just an emergency or something like that. So yeah, we got the wife of Buick uh, what this thing? Buick Enclave Premium. So it's four years old. It's got 42,000 miles. Got a really good deal on the thing. So let's get back to this thing. See if we can figure out what's going on. As I rented this kit from uh, Advanced Auto Parts. And basically, if you've never used one of these before, it has all these different adapters for all different makes and models. If you scroll to the back, see it tells you what color, what number adapter goes with which vehicle. They didn't have anything on here for Jeep, but they did have these universal guys here. Basically what happens is, you shove this down into the radiator, you twist these two dials and it basically blows up this bladder and makes a seal uh, inside your filler neck. So I found the one that worked for this Jeep the best and I put it in there and you want to make sure that you don't over pressurize your system. This cap, if you can see that there, maybe you can't, 18 pounds. So on my gauge here, um, the end of the green mark there is 20 pounds. I went to probably, I don't know, 15, 16, 17 pounds, somewhere around there, and I had a massive eruption of fluid underneath this thing. And what I think my problem is is the lower radiator hose based on where it's leaking. So let me show you how this tool works. I'm gonna go ahead and depressurize it. So we backed it off to zero. Now the way this the way this works is you basically you find the right adapter for your vehicle in this in this case I'm using the like I said before this has a bladder in it and expands and blocks uh, airflow from this filler neck so basically I shove this down into the into the hole and then I take these dials and I just turn them and it seals in place see I can't pull that out right now I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm at zero. I'll go ahead. So what you do is you just you just pump this thing until you get this to the pressure rating of your radiator cap. In my case, it was 18 pounds. I went up just below that. I'm going to do it one more time, but I'm not going to go all the way up because I don't want to have another coolant disaster. So I'm at about eight pounds right there. So 
So the goal of today's video is just to determine where my leak was, and I think we've done that. It, it is a possibility that that's not my issue, and by pressurizing this system, I caused another problem, meaning a, the breach of the hose. But I think that's I think that's probably my issue. It explains the cold radiator cap. Um, what else? And it explains the coolant loss. So that's what I'm going with. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I'm, I'll get into this on another job, and I'll go ahead and uh, take this tank out and, and swap out that lower radiator hose. I don't have time to do it today, unfortunately. So we'll see you on the next video.